Hello, this is Divine Sunshine with a reading for you. Uh, I am going to do the collective for the karmic feminine and the, the uh, masculine karmic. Did I say divine feminine and karmic masculine? Okay, that's what I'm reading for. This is my last one for tonight, and that is it. Um, if you would like to have a reading with me, go to my Divine Twin Soul 11.com uh, website. Go to the services page. Click on that. Go on to the button that says book online. Hit the book online so you can get a appointment with me. You can also go to my um, um, Instago page, uh, which is go Divine Twin Soul 11.com. Uh, you can get a reading with me, even a question, reading by phone or by video. Those are your own two choices. Remember, I'm not available until 5 p.m. Central Time uh, for that. Okay, let's get right on straight into the reading because Mama would like to go to Betty Betty. Okay, so let's start off with the car, uh, the um, divine feminine. Someone's telling me I need to read the Isis. I have not done an Isis card in a while. So let's kind of see what, clear, what state of mind do you need to be in right now? Uh, the Isis says, what's the energy that you need to read? Not too many. Just one card, please. Just one. You gave me two. Okay. All right. So this is the energies that the Isis wants you to work with. Those of you all that are in, um, uh, karmic situations with karmic masculines or divine feminine you have two cards oh no this is how to use that this one ha ha thank you jesus okay so it says enter the chamber of healing a spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Expect your miracle. Okay, so that is the message from Isis. Let's look and see what is I do like last time. What's that then? Uh, what's your all's overall energies? The the car little the divine feminine with the karmic masculine what's the overall energies from the romance angels what's the overall energy okay this situation involves marriage so there is a sitch uh there is a situation that involves marriage okay i don't know what she's saying no for i'll have to find that out later okay um Okay, let's see what this is. It's a miracle. So let's see what that situation What we talked about that one. I need to clarify on that. Are we still, what do you mean this situation is? What's happening with the energies there? Clear. Clarify this. Why would this situation involve marriage when it comes to the, the divine feminine, this karmic uh, masculine? I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to just play off of what it say here. That's not. Give me one card. Excuse me. Did I say clear? Clear. What's happening with this wedding between this uh, divine feminine and karmic? Okay. The man is not holding the heart. This is upside down. Okay. Okay. So why is this situation? Who are we talking about? This is what I need to know. Let's go back to this. Who are we talking about? Who's the man? Why doesn't the man hold the heart? What's going on? He's not holding the heart anymore, this karmic uh, masculine, because I uh, allow the situation to fold naturally. Something right now is not folding naturally uh, for this situation. Uh, it's being controlling by something else. It could be realistic or it could be spirit or naturally we fold. So that means something... Uh, allow this situation to unfold naturally. It's not. This is real. This is reality check. And that, so she's got a reality check about what man is holding the heart. She thought that this man was holding the heart, but uh, holding the keys to her heart, but he's not. Okay. 
So that's why she said this situation involves marriage. Okay. Can I ask what happened to cause that? What happened to cause that? I talked to you. Let's talk to the wisdom. What happened? Clear. The cause why she said that uh, she's saying she needs a reality check. What caused that she needs a reality check? Why does she need a reality check? Why does the divine feminine need a reality check when it comes to the karmic masculine? Co-create. Because she needs somebody who's going to be co-create that's helping her to manifest her world. He doesn't have the wisdom. He doesn't have the agility and speed to make things happen. He doesn't have a past with her. This is past like civilizations, like back in the day, like that, like back there, like Michael Jackson, remember the time. You, you're not an architect. You're not really the key architect to make things happen in this world that's got to happen. Uh, that's what she's finding out. Okay? We're going to do it a little different with that. Okay? Uh, okay. What was the situation that caused that to say that she's not the, uh, he's not the co-creator? She found out clear that the uh, karmic vasculant is not the co-creator with the divine feminine. What happened? What was the situation? That's too many. No, five. I can do five. Okay. Let's see. What was the situation? The situation was six of earth. Six of earth means it was some um, material things. Gifts of money, time, and effort. New career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. Okay, so she's got even a... She's really trying to, at this point, trying to create a new career for herself. Uh, she's uh, trying to pay off some debts and loans. And right now, he is not the person that's going to be there by her side to think that he's the one that's going to be able to make things happen. He's not the go-getter. He's not the one. Okay? Uh, Queen of Fire. Uh, right now, she's confident. Uh, she's in her. She look like she in her mode to take action. Really, this means I'm taking no prisoners. I I ain't taking no prisoners on this here. I know what I want, and if you in my dag on freaking way, baby, you gonna get chop chop like it ain't even funny. This is how she looking. She looking real determined. Like I dare for you to get in the way of what I'm trying to create here. Uh, so she's confident right now. She's warm. She's intelligent. She's graceful. She's got to stretch her wings and fly. She's got to try new opportunities. Uh, she does. She's at the point that she's not underestimating herself. She's very assertive with her independence and her creativity. And she's saying right now, you ain't even matching my swagger right now, homie. I'm sorry. You ain't even worth to even carry my sword to help me go into battle uh, with this. Um, she's got a mind on earth again, queen of earth. She's thoughtful. She's creative, warm, and sensible. So to me, she's getting in touch with her feminine side. It's really getting this the divinity of her womanness uh, being the divine feminine. Uh, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind of understanding manner. So right now she's saying, I see that you're not the co-creator. But at the same time, I'm trying to find ways that I don't create more karma. So I'm trying to deal with this in a very loving, very understanding, very kind way. But this is going to be is some challenges. Because I really don't know what the unknown is. But right now I know that you are not the one. Co-creator, we know that with the divine uh, twin soul things, both of us have the power to manifest. And the karmics do not have that power so right now she's saying you just not it uh there uh i see her creating things some new abundances here uh she's really in her power she's got her wings here uh the next thing is six of air uh, but there's been a conflict things are looking up the end of difficult situation taking the trip so she's going on that twin flame journey right now She's right there in that boat. She's got all her twin flame, her feminines right there in the back. So we got your back. The universe got her back. And um, she's really ready to take this journey now. She's really, because things is looking up. She's getting, the, she's feeling, the, she's feeling her divine masculine. He's calling her in, like I said, the, the divine twin um, collective thing. And um, she just really want to go forth. A cycle is ending. I see this already because in this card here is a cycle. So this cycle is ending. Right here, it's like coming out the vortex 
of here is all around her. That power, that energy is helping propel her going to her next thing. So she's really, this girl is on fire uh, right here. This is what I just said. It's just right there. She's at that point. Uh, five of air, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. So right now she's thinking that really get into this uh, relationship with this um karmic masculine was really the wrong choice uh it wasn't wise uh she got into it for various reasons uh maybe to say i'm tired of dealing with this uh divine masculine he ain't acting right he ain't got a can nobody spray the can to act right on his behind and instead of him acting right he acting crazy um that's one way of doing it and then also um here uh you seeing yeah this 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 is it but you know this is the funny thing here i'm seeing this divine this i'm sorry this karmic uh excuse me pardon me divine masculine i mean this karmic masculine excuse me again has found him a karmic somebody on the same level she wasn't on she ain't on the same level with him you got two so he's gonna find him somebody too at the end of the day uh, with this and he gonna say to himself that this has been an unwise decision as well getting into it but like i said from all stories before that he's just been going along with the ride with this um just kind of seeing we know where this gonna go where this gonna lead you know i'm just in it you know uh it was nice uh and then you know i'm looking for the x side too i'm ready to say deuces you say deuces and we're gonna leave i still say uh with this car and i still feel this very um strongly with this relationship that uh at this point he would be okay if they would end up friends. I really, truly do believe that. Maybe not now, depending on how the the uh, Divine Feminine leaves this karmic masculine at the end. But if she leaves it on a good note, she's creating good karma. He will be one of those ones that she could come to if the Divine Masculine is getting on nerves, kind of shares the things, and he could be able to honestly um, give us some advice on it, you know, because he kind of knows her as well, and he can go ahead and just tell her about some things or how she could go about handling the situation. Uh, I truly do believe that that's in the cards for this type of relationship. All right, so let's see what's in um, her heart space. Clear. What's in the heart space of the divine feminine? What's in her heart space? I tried it a little different this time. What's in her heart space? What's in her heart space? What's in the divine heart space for the karmic masculine? What's in the mind space for the divine feminine for the karmic masculine? And what is in the minds, I mean, the heart space of the karmic masculine? Oh, you just flipped out to He's saying that. And what's in the mind space of the karmic masculine for the divine feminine? Okay, so what's in the heart space for the divine feminine? <laughs> She's saying she paying attention to the red flags, you know. Uh, she know in this relationship she didn't cover herself. She didn't cover the ego. She didn't mask herself. She didn't cover the way she's really been thinking, her consciousness, cutting off that contact between her and the divine masculine. And she's just really been uh, just, just a cover up. She's been going undercover with this whole thing. You know, sometimes I believe that these divine uh, the uh, mates that's going into these comic relationships, I always say they're going undercover. They're going undercover. They're going deep throat. They're going right on undercover so you can see and some of you scared you say well you better watch it you going so much undercover you don't want to get caught up you know like they some of them movies you seen or they had them drugs being said i'm going undercover i'm gonna be uh, a drug uh sell a drug dealer myself and then i'm gonna see how they run the game and you look by the end of the day gonna start he up there uh he uh top number one drug boss 
And you're like, well, where the hell, what the hell happened with you becoming a damn cop? I mean, I thought you was... And they didn't say, bump that, I became a dirty cop, you know. So that's what you kind of look at and say, okay, it's all right, you can go uh, undercover, but let's not go too dang on deep that you forget who you truly are. Uh, she's been deep undercover, but she's paying attention to the flags. Uh, healing uh, family issues, your love life benefits uh, as you forgive your parents. Um, I want to say in some ways with her being with this divine, uh, this, I'm sorry, excuse me, common masculine, she didn't put these issues on the back burner. She knows that this is something that she needs to address, but she has not. Uh, and she knows that when she looked in, she walked into the situation with this, uh, karmic masculine that she seen a lot of daddy issues that had been reflected into him, uh, and also family issues that had to do with a sibling. I always say that. Uh, and so both of them, I always feel that it's got to be some kind of core that both of the divine and the karmics have. And this is their common core, which was family issues that they tied it. They could be like, oh, we can share our woes and woe is me. And yeah, you was like that. Yeah, and I was like that one time. I was three well with my daddy neither. And so that's the, the common cord that they both had uh, with that. Uh, next thing here, what's on the mind space of the divine uh, feminine as far as this common masculine trust issue. She's at the point this is trust reverse. She does not trust. Uh, she does not have faith in this relationship anymore. Uh, next thing, attraction. She's not the answer. She's almost like if you read my divine masculine with the common feminine, you like, uh, psh, all right, hey, baby, uh, the, the, the thrill is gone. Okay. Same thing, attraction. Uh, you know, at this point, she's like, I don't even feel no romantic feelings. When I'm with you, I don't stop smelling the roses. I don't even see the world in a beautiful way. Like I used to say, um, the whole, in my whole environment has changed. Uh, and, um, that's the thing. I'm not in a peaceful place. Um, because a lot of times when you say you stop and smell the roses, that means you take a time out to rest to really take in everything. And she's saying with him, she don't even feel that. I don't feel that way anymore. That that thrill is gone. Like BB came gone away. That thrill is gone. Yeah, it's gone. It, it, it ain't there. Okay. Next one. You got chemistry. Okay. Uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So on his end, he, he feels the attraction. He's saying, it ain't going for me. You might be saying, call me uh, Lucille and playing BB King. But uh, I'm I'm telling you, I still think it's some chemistry and some attraction there. You know, from the beginning, this karmic masculine has been in there. He's been a real easygoing guy. He ain't got that bells and whistles like the karmic feminine is. It's just like, you know, whatever it is, he's almost like uh, coming to America. Whatever you like, whatever you do, whatever show you like, whatever food you like, it, it's just pretty much, it's just being that kind of feeling. You know, it's like chemistry. I know it's there. Uh, it ain't bothering me as long as you ain't hit me upside my head, call me out my name, abusing me. It's all good, okay? That's been his uh, mantra and his objective of being in a relationship all along, okay? Uh, next thing here, and why he's saying that is because on his mind space, he know he codependent on her. Now, for what, I don't know. But uh, he's having some codependency. Let's find out what these codependency issues are. Let's go to numerology. What are some of these codependency issues? Clear. What are they? Moderation. Some he's not taking in moderation. It's in reverse. So he's just going hog wild about this. Codependency is addictions. Let me go over here to Shaka or because most of the time they could tell me a little bit better. Let's see what they say clear what is in this karmic masculine taking in moderation what is he doing what is he doing indulging too much of what is he indulging too much of uh complacency which means just not doing anything just like i'm all right where i'm at i told you he is he, he at that point they're like okay whatever you like Whatever you do, whatever you like, sir. You know, like you say, what kind of food you like? Whatever you like. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, what kind of games you like to play? Whatever you like. 
Okay, so you know that that's 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 what it is uh that he's uh pretty much doing. I think I did some right. I'm gonna do it this way. That's what it is, okay? Uh indulging too much in gratitude. Okay. Just really thankful that heck, you know, like my mom said, What what you want to just be in a relationship, just say you got somebody? I mean, you know, what what's going on here, you know. So, this is the same thing. Just have gratitude. Say, oh, thank God I got somebody. You know, I ain't out here on my own. Listen to my homies. Talk about they going to the club and not going to the bar and buying drinks and then don't take nobody home. At least me, I wake up to a warm body, you know. At least I had that. I ain't, I ain't like them, you know, that ain't got nobody. So, that's what it is. He's just having gratitude for saying, I got somebody, you know. And the next thing is the quest. Uh, he probably look at her and see, you know, I see her potential. I see what she's doing. Uh, I see what the potential of is where she's wanting to go to. Uh, this is what attracted me. I think I said that last uh, week that he's saying that she has a lot of potential to give as a divine feminine. He probably sees this divinity in her. And he's like, you know, he's on the quest. Or he could be saying, I'm just on the quest to just give what I need spiritually wise. I'm a karmic. But I wanted to be a divine, and right now, like I said, uh, I think in the other video I said for the um, uh, divine masculine with the common feminine, he's on a quest to, this is nothing but a station, just like a, a plane, this is a layover, and he's on his quest to be with his divine too, and find his soulmate as well. Um, Daniel Boom had said that in his uh, last one, said a lot of them, they are karmics. And they're making their way to be divines too. Some of these karmics can be turned into divine by these karmic experiences uh, as well. Uh, might be, I don't know. Uh, so this is what he's on a quest as well. Very interesting. Very interesting to see that. Okay. All right. So um, this is what they're dealing with. Uh, interesting. All right. Uh, what just, since they on the quest for something? Let's ask about what's this life changes. So, what are the life changes they supposed to be experiencing there? Clear. What's the life changes for the uh, for the divine feminine in this karmic situation? What's the the what is the universe? What is the life changes that they want them to have? Since it seems like mm -mm, too many. Okay, divine feminine. What's the karmic? Uh, what's the karmic masculine life changes? He supposed since he's been in this relationship with the divine feminine. Okay, so the divine feminine is her life changes is she's gonna find herself moving. So maybe the divine um, feminine and the karmic masculine had moved in together um, before. Maybe they were seeing, sharing the same living quarters, and so now what's gonna happen is is that he's gonna uh, that she's gonna move out and find her own because now she's become like a butterfly. Uh, and she's moving on. She's kind of neutral. She ain't found her colors yet. What she's got to deal with. Uh, here we see here the color orange, uh, which means she's got to find herself getting more with her um, intimacy, her sacral, how she relates with others. So this is helping her to blossom and deal with that as well with this movement. So that's what the life change has. It's helped her to open up her sacral, which is her intimacy with others, how she relates with others. And she's kind of neutral about things. So right now she can embody all um, colors uh, that she's at right now through this moving process. Um, she's got a windfall. So it's a windfall of abundance. It could be money, uh, finances, any of that thing. Again, she's on the sacral. It's an orange butterfly. She's got to deal with that. Uh, she's got to find out how she's going to uh, deal with intimacy and relate with other people. That could be the divine masculine or just people in general that she's got to work. She's got the purple here. So we see this is a crown chakra here that she's dealing with, knowing her intuition, how she communicates with other, and the white is the spirituality as well. So she needs a windfall in the spirituality if I see nothing else. 
uh, she could do in a material world and also in a spiritual world. Okay, when we're talking about for the karmic masculine, uh, his finances, he got to get his finances together. Uh, that's probably one thing that's been kind of stalemate uh, for him as well because, see, he co-dependent on her on a lot of stuff. So that's probably why he's been complacent. So if he get his finances, finances could also just not be in the money. It could just be in the abundance of everything in life as well. So get his uh, spirituality, some finance and his love. Uh, I'll get that. Say, I don't know why he said, there'll be no romance without finance. Mm -mm -mm. There'll be no romance without finance. What can you do for me? So that part there. <laughs> so his words been sweet, but that can only get you so much. So he got to work on that finance, okay? Okay, I see it's yellow. Okay, you turn it back to where it was. Thank you. Uh, yeah, what you trying to say? So anyway, uh, that that's uh pretty much it. That he's got to work on his finances. Yeah. So she really saying ain't no romance without finance. Uh, she wanna know what can you do for me? Uh, cause he codependent. He got some codependency issues. They they seriously rooted here. I guess I call this what can you do for me? Maybe uh, 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 on this one. Uh, okay. What is the energies in which they're moving into next? Let's see. Let's ask the romance angels. Clear. What's uh, where? And that was the overall. What's the next moving? Yeah, energies. That's what I want to know. I'm gonna make this 30 and I'm out of here. This has been a plum pleasure. What is the uh, next energy? Next thing, next thing energies the future energies for this karmic um masculine and divine feminine true love and reverse this is not true love it says this is a romance of lifetime this is not the romance of a lifetime this is the next energies that they are moving into they're finding out that they are not true love okay all right, so we will end on that. If you would like a reading, what is it? Oh, I could clarify that, but now it, it is what it is. Okay, I'm drawing to see this. Hold on a second. Okay, clear. What has caused this in the future, which is pretty much self explanatory, but I'll beat the dead horse to see. What has caused this? Three cards. Transformation, one and three. One is uh, your intuitiveness and your awareness. Three means the trinity, spirit, soul, and body getting out of line. That has caused a transformation. She has become like a child, the divine feminine, finding new adventures, new opportunities. And like I said, right now, um, she feels this newness, this new transformation. The energies are shifting around her. So this is what's calling this transformation, which is saying for her that she's saying this is not true love. The emperor, she wants to get with the divine masculine. The divine masculine is in her sights and she knows that this is truly her true love so she's got a forehead she's got to get crowned she's got to find courage he you got the uh the lion here why well, i say the elephant uh and she knows that she's got to find courage he's ready to slay he's on his end she feels that her divine masculine is conquering things he's at war he's at battle with trying to get himself together uh, again, he's still got that thing. He's trying to move war with these emotions because I told you the military thing, the military heart that he's bringing to that when he's coming from battle and he's still not learning how to put that that hard armor down and be vulnerable with his heart. But he's ready here. You see, he's got that keen look. I've got my eyes, my sights on where I'm going for that. And then king of water. So we're dealing also with some emotions here too. And that's why she said this is not true love. Uh, right now, uh, King of Water, you could say that he, to me, he's the source of the King of Water. He's the source of a lot of emotions. He's stirring that up, and it's become a very emotional stand right here at this thing. And this whole situation is very emotional for maybe I'll stop that. Say it for both sides. It's more emotional for the divine, uh, for this, uh, excuse me, 
karmic masculine things have become emotional on his end and maybe her looking at him viewing him things have become emotional as well all right stop it right there so if you would like a reading with me divine sunshine go to my website divine twin soul 11.com uh go on the services page click on there uh click on the book online and that should lead you to be able to book online uh you can also go to my uh instagram account which is go divine twin soul 11 uh you can book one uh reading or a um you can get a question answered you can get uh also um question answered a video and also talk to me via phone there remember that you cannot reach me until after five o'clock p.m 5 p.m central time uh, that's the only time that you can reach uh, me, okay? Uh, anytime before, I am not reachable. All right, so with this reading, this is very interesting. Uh, it looks like to me, uh, things are coming to a nice close with these episodes here. Uh, these 75% is really catching on to the wave of what is actually going on. Let us pray for these other 25% of divine masculines that have not gotten in. It might be the same percentage for the females. I don't know. Uh, as far as oh, here we got, we got right here. As far as wh who's awakened and who is not. So until then, this is interesting. I did it a little different. I kind of liked it. Okay. Until then, start all of them. Sorry. Until then. I want to wish you uh, stay enlightened, stay motivated, stay elevated. And until then, I wish you love. And so I say namaste, namago.